everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to make some really super cute Capri Sun lunch bags. Kids love them. If your kids get invited to a birthday party, these are like the perfect gift to give. Anytime my daughter takes her lunch bag to school, the kids all go nuts and they all want one. In order to make these lunch bags, you have to be able to use a sewing machine on a moderate level. This is harder than a basic straight stitch, but it's not as hard as being like a professional seamstress. If you've never sewn on a sewing machine before, I would say do something a little bit easier than a Capri Sun lunch bag first. But if you have a basic understanding of how a sewing machine works, I think you can handle this. In order to make the Capri Sun lunch bag, you're gonna need 14 Capri Suns. Step one in making Capri Sun lunch bags, cut the bottom open. Normally I just cram a pair of scissors in there and then snip them both sides and then wash these out really good. You can wash them out in the sink with soapy water or you can put them in the dishwasher. And then let them air dry. You don't wanna use wet Capri Sun wrappers in your sewing machine. So I have all of mine clean and ready to go. So how do we assemble this lunch sack? I will show you right now. To make our bag, I'm gonna use four flavors for the front. So I need a fruit punch, a grape, an apple, and a berry. And then the back panel is gonna be the exact same. So I need another fruit punch, another grape, another apple, and another berry. The side panels, I'm gonna do two different flavors on one side and then the two other flavors on the other side. And then we just need two for the bottom panels. I'm gonna do apple, and grape, because those are the most opposite color. Okay, so my final count is, I'm going to use four grape, four apple, three berry, and three fruit punch. Lay out four panels for your front and your back of your bag. So the front and the back are both gonna be four panels. It really doesn't matter how you lay them out, but these are pretty similar in color, so I'm just gonna flip flop them. My pattern is going to be on the front and the back, grape, berry, fruit punch, apple. So I wanna do that twice. Now that we have these laid out, we're gonna sew them together using a zigzag stitch. I'm first going to sew this panel together and then sew this panel together. After that, I will sew the two panels together. To sew these together, we're going to overlap the seam here on top of the other one, just so that it's covering the seam. Make sure they're lined up perfectly at the top and then also at the bottom. I'm using a basic needle that came with the machine and basic white thread. You're gonna to wanna to set it up for a zigzag stitch. I'm gonna line up my seams and then I just wanna zigzag right over the top of this whole seam here. Now we have a panel that's zigzagged together. We're just gonna do the same exact thing with the top panel. I normally do left over right on all of my bags. You might do the opposite. If you're right-handed, I'm left-handed, so that's just naturally the way I sew. It doesn't really matter. So let's sew this one together now. So we now have our two panels sewn. Now we're gonna attach the top panel to the bottom panel. So instead of overlapping it this way, you'd wanna put the top panel, which is the bottom of the wrapper here, over the top panel. And we're gonna do it the same exact way we did the last one. And we're gonna line up with this line right here, just right over the top, and then sew those guys together. Now I have sewn this panel together. I'm gonna to do the exact same thing on the second panel. Now we have our two matching panels. So in the exact same way, now we're going to sew our side panels that we're going to be putting up the sides of the bag. We wanna sew these together the exact same way that we sewed the other one, just like that. We now have our two side panels, a side panel, front panel, side panel, back panel. We're not gonna sew all these together yet. First, we're gonna sew each individual piece onto the base. So let's make the base. For the base, we're gonna take one of our top panels, because that's the width that we need. If we sew it together like this, it's gonna be way too long, and it's not gonna be very sturdy. So what we're gonna do is just actually turn this around, 
just so you can see the Capri Sun logo on both sides. I want the grape to show, so I'm gonna overlap it just enough that it doesn't cover up my word grape. It's gonna be about two inches of an overlap. Now we've sewn the bottom piece. I sewed the flap down on the top with the zigzag, and the reason there's a zigzag here is because I sewed the flap down on the bottom as well. Now you're going to want to attach all of your sides here to this piece. So let's do that now. First, we're gonna attach the top and the bottom with this. There's two ways you can attach them. You can put them together like this and sew them, but if you do that, then when you open the bottom, it will fold up like this and you'll have like a little pocket underneath. My favorite way to do it is to just sew it the same way that we've sewn all the other pieces. You take the top piece and you sew the bottom of the top piece right over the top of the bottom piece. Just cover that seam up just like that and we're gonna zigzag stitch all the way across. That way, when it's sewn together, We'll just fold it up. It'll actually end up creasing up like this and you'll have a nice flat bottom. Now, when you're doing this, don't sew over the seam on each corner because we're actually gonna have to open those up when we sew the sides together in the future. Let me show you what I mean. Here's our bottom piece. We're gonna sew it to the top piece. So we wanna get the center of the bag directly in the center of these two zigzags. You don't wanna pin these bags because they'll leave puncture marks in the foil and you wanna have as few punctures as possible. I'm coming up to my seam. I'm not going to sew the seam. When I get to the seam, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna back stitch. We've got the top sewn onto the bottom. Now we're gonna sew this top directly across onto the bottom as well, making sure that the center line here from the front matches up with the center line from the back. Another trick when doing this is to fold this, the panel up so it'll fit under the machine here. When I get to the seam here, I'm going to stop. Now I'm gonna back stitch. I'm gonna take a second and trim off these threads. Now we have our panel that looks like this. We've got the front of the bag, the base of the bag, the back of the bag. Now we're gonna add these two side panels here. We're gonna add one here and one here. The trick to these is when we fold our sides up, we want these seams here to be able to be in alignment so that they can attach and they actually start forming a bag. So in order to do that, you wanna align your base panel up directly over the top of these little seams on the side panels. The corners are overlapping. When we sew this, we're not gonna sew the seams. Remember we left these seams open? We're gonna leave these seams open as well. We just wanna sew from the inside of the seam all the way across and then stop here. Make sure you back stitch those on both sides. So you're gonna be left with a flap about that thick, maybe half an inch, inside the bag, and that's okay. Remember, overlap the corners, but don't sew the corners. I'm getting close to my seam, but I'm not quite there yet. So I'm gonna stitch a little bit further. Oh, it seems right there. Just gonna back it up. Done. We've got our seam here. Notice how the corners are overlapped, but they're not sewn. We want to leave those free so that when we bend our bag up, we have something to sew onto. Now we're just going to sew the other side. Now we have a panel that looks like this. Side, side, front, back. We're going to crease down like this. Turn it. Same. going to crease. Turn, crease, and turn, and crease. This is the beginning of our bag. The next few steps that we're going to do, before we sew this together, we're going to create the flap 
in the back that folds over the front. And we're going to attach a handle because it's easier to attach the carrying handle before we sew the sides on. So bear with me as things get a little bit crazy. And then we will stitch up the sides in the front. Hopefully this doesn't get too confusing. We have our panel and none of it's sewn together, but when you fold it, it makes a box. We want the bag to have the back panel fold over the front panel and form a lunch bag. So when you open it, you can get inside your bag. So to do this, first, we're gonna decide which is our back. So you have your back piece. We're going to fold it down as far as you want your flap. Now, I like the word Capri Sun to show. So I'm gonna fold it just to that C there. Okay, so you're gonna wanna line up the edge and you're just going to crease this all the way across. Okay, see that? This is our flap now. This is the back of the bag. The front of the bag is now too tall by the width of that flap. So, and the sides also. So what we wanna do now is measure the width of this flap and we're going to cut that much off of the front and off both sides. We want to cut this much off of the front and the sides. Now we have a bag that has the flap cut off of one side, two sides, three sides, but not the back panel. That one's just creased. So now when you put your bag together, the front three sides are all gonna line up as a shorter bag and the back panel is actually gonna fold up and be able to fold over the front of the bag and close like this. Now we have some raw edges here on the front and on the two sides. We wanna just sew this across just to close these edges up, just doing a basic zigzag stitch. The handle is really hard to attach once your bag's already assembled. So hopefully this doesn't seem confusing to you. First we need to assemble the handle. Remember those three pieces you cut off? These two from the sides, we don't need those. You can toss those. This one, this is gonna be our handle. Fold the handle in half lengthwise. Crease it all the way down. We're going to zigzag this whole side here and this whole side here to reinforce it. Now we have this piece made. We need to attach it to our bag. So what we're gonna do is get it and fold it and twist it. This is our handle. We're gonna sew here and here onto the back of the bag. We wanna attach our handle to our bag. So we need to attach it below the seam because this is the front. So you get this, remember you turn it in Attach it basically like this onto the bag. I don't want to put pins in the bag and add additional holes. I'm going to use some of this blue painter's tape because it peels off really easily just to hold them in place while I sew them. I'm sure there are plenty of ways that you can do this. This just works well for me. We don't want to put them totally square because then the handle's like pulling too hard. You want to have the handle angled just slightly. You want the outer corner to be about halfway across the Capri Sun, maybe a little bit more. That look about even. Once you decide where you want it, take another piece of the tape and tape it higher and then peel off the lower piece. So we're gonna sew it in this space here below the seam. I'm still gonna do a zigzag stitch. And I'm just gonna sew a box. Here's a little trick. When you wanna turn your corner, lift your foot, but leave the needle in and then you can just pivot where you want it to go and then you lower your foot again. Now your thread is still in the same spot and you can keep sewing without having to do a ton of back stitching. So now I'm gonna lift it up again, I'm gonna pivot again. I'm going to pivot right back to where we started and then I'm going to back stitch across my starting point and the ending point all at the same time. So now we can peel this additional tape off and we're left with an attached handle. Here's what your handle looks like. Probably the trickiest of 
the whole assembly. Now also before we attach it, we're gonna do the Velcro really quick. We're gonna need Velcro here and then also here. We wanna do this before we do the sides because it's hard to get the bag in the sewing machine to do this piece after it's assembled. To do the Velcro, I just bought some basic Velcro here. It's not adhesive, just a strip of Velcro. You're gonna want about a half inch piece of Velcro. Cut your two pieces. We're gonna put one of the pieces of Velcro on the inside here and the other one on the outside here. Let's just go ahead and attach the inside ones. I'm gonna do rough on the front of the bag and soft on the flap. Separate your pieces of Velcro. Set aside the rough piece for now. Sew these pieces about a half an inch in and a quarter of an inch from the top. To sew these on, I'm going to just zigzag across the top and the bottom. I'm basically going to just hold the Velcro in place while I sew it. do the bottom half. There's one of our pieces of Velcro. Now we're gonna go ahead and sew the other piece on. Here's where we're at now. Here's the flap of the bag. You can see that the Velcro has been sewn on. The other side of the bag, there's the Velcro. Now we've got the handle on and the top Velcro for the top flap. Now we wanna put the Velcro on for the front of the bag. Get your pieces of Velcro and stick them right on top of the Velcro that you just sewed on. Line the top of your bag up with the seam and fold it down. That's where we want the Velcro. Starting with one end, I'm gonna peel up the top corner, get a piece of painter's tape, tape it in place. Now we're gonna do the same with the other side. I'm going to get the zigzag started and then I'll remove the tape before I sew over the tape. Now our Velcro is sewn on. The moment you all have been waiting for, let's finish this bag. So far we have base, sides, front, and back. Our sides and front are shorter than our back piece. We've made our flap, we've attached the handle, and we've attached all the Velcro. Now all we have to do is put the bag together. You want to fold your pieces up on your crease, and we're simply going to put them right sides facing out and stitch down the line. The reason we had to leave those corners open is because now we're going to pinch the corners together, get them perfectly lined up, and I like to start sewing from the base and work my way to the top. That way I know that the base pieces are perfectly aligned. You're gonna have to contort the bag as you sew it. That's totally okay, these things can get smashed. Tweak it until I know it's perfectly aligned. If you've measured everything perfectly, then these two pieces will also line up right at the top. So now we have the beginning of our bag. We've got one corner done. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this corner now, and we will work our way around the bag. Here's where we're at. We now have the whole front sewn. And see how our corners are lined up perfectly on the bottom? makes this really nice, perfect flat bottom. To sew up the back, we're gonna do it the exact same way. Obviously, the top is gonna to be longer. But when you get to the edge, just give it a nice, good back stitch right here. Now we gotta snip off all these threads. You guys, we are done. We're just gonna fluff it into a bag shape. We wanna put a nice, good crease on the inside so that, when we, so that we can fold it shut and it's not all crumpled. Tuck it in, line up the seams from the back and the front and just give it a nice, good crease. Do the other side. You can even take it a step further like a real lunch bag. You wanna line the bottom up flat also. This way it'll fit in your kid's backpack Fill it, close it. That, my friends, is how you make a Capri Sun lunch bag. The Capri Sun lunch bag has a nice carrying handle, matching front and back panels, very professional flat bottom. Opens easy, fill it with your lunch. Flat storage in your backpack. Kids love them. 
and you're also helping the environment by reusing what otherwise would have been trash. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Time to pack lunches.